I have clearly just taken a shower, and the explanation as to why I just had to take a shower is the reason for today's rant. I'm a theater tech, specifically I really want to be a stage manager, and the problem with theater is it takes a while before you can actually make a living in it. You really have to work and work and take years and years and get seniority and all that jazz. In the meantime, I still have to pay rent and bills and all that fun grown-up stuff. So I'm a bartender at one of the soccer centers in Saskatoon. I like working at the soccer center. My sister-in-law is my boss, and so she's really flexible about giving me time off whenever I have a show to do. The clientele is mostly soccer people just coming up after a game, so it never gets too rowdy. And we have a standing rule that if you puke, you clean it up, so I never have to deal with stuff like that. But there is one evil part of my job. Kegs. Like most bars, we have draft beer. Draft beer basically means you have kegs in the back somewhere, and they're on pressurized lines, and it comes out the front at the bar. And so when these kegs run out, you have to go change the keg. Now, changing kegs is really simple. Basically, you just have to take the pressurized line out of the empty keg and put it into the new one, which just requires a push down, a twist, a pull of a handle, and then you pressurize the line. Unfortunately, if the handle is slightly up when you're changing the keg, then you've pressurized the keg before it's fully sealed, and what you get is a beer shower. A beer shower is basically when beer just comes shooting out of the keg into your face. I've worked at the soccer center for a year, and the only time I've gotten a beer shower was the very, very first time that I had to change a keg all by myself. However, last night, I had to change two kegs. Two beer showers. And the worst part is, it was GW. It wasn't even good beer. Great Western, if you ever watch this, I'm really, really sorry, but I really, really hate your beer, and there's a reason that you're not sold anywhere outside of Saskatchewan. If it had been a cider shower, that would have been fine. Cider is delicious, and though I don't want to be covered in booze, if I have to be covered in some sort of booze, cider would definitely be the way to go. But, ugh, beer shower. And then I had to spend the rest of the shift reeking like booze, and then I had to drive home, and what if there was a random police check, and I realized that if I got breathalyzed, I wouldn't blow anything because I hadn't been drinking, but there's still the hassle of having to explain why I reek of booze, and I just don't want to go through that when I'm, it's 2 a.m., and I just want to get home and go to sleep. But no, instead, I have to go home and shower and get all the GW out of my hair. And yeah, you can argue that it's my fault because I had the handle down a little bit when I was tapping the keg, but two! Two beer showers. I'm not that bad at changing a keg. I've done it a hundred times before. <sighs> kegs. So that's it, beer kegs. This means war. Never again will you beat me. Never again will you spray my face with your contents. Okay, that was a little bit gross, but you know what I mean.